A little bit about Poncho and Lefty first. Um, I understand it was kind of laying there for a while, about 10 years. You recorded it, a couple other people recorded it, and then it really hit big, I guess, with Willie Nelson recording it. Well, uh, Willie and uh, Merle well, Hager. Mm -hmm. And uh, they could record Happy Birthday and we're getting <laughs> I know, that's right. true. But uh, it's been recorded before. Uh, uh, Amy Lou, uh, Amy Lou Harris, and uh, Lloyd Axton recorded it, and uh, I recorded it. And uh, I wrote it in Dallas about 10 years ago, and it was one of those songs that is hard to, uh, I realize that I wrote it, mm -hmm. but it's hard to take credit for the writing because it came from out of the blue. It was like, it came through me, and it's a real nice song. And I think I've uh, finally found out what it's about. I've always wondered what it was about. I kind of always knew it wasn't about uh, Pancho Villa, and then somebody told me that Pancho Villa had a buddy whose uh, name in Spanish meant uh, Lefty. Hmm. Um, that's strange, huh? Yeah, it But is. In, the so in my song, uh, Pancho gets hung. They only uh, let him hang around out of kindness, I suppose. And the real Pancho Villa was uh, assassinated. Mm -hmm. But on the way, me and the band were going to uh, Houston. And just outside of Brenham, we were in a couple cars. And uh, the car that I was driving, we got stopped by these two policemen. And uh, I had to go back to their car, you know. Mm. and. Uh, I was going 67 miles an hour, right, in the middle of the night, getting to the gig. And uh, they asked me uh, if I'd been drinking. I said, uh, you know, no, sir, not since last night. And they swallowed that, right? Was, that's cool. <laughs> and they said, uh, well, what do you do for a living? I said, well, I'm a songwriter, and they both kind of looked around like pitiful, pitiful. Yeah. You know that word. Right? You are the low lives. And uh, so on to that, I added, uh, I wrote that song, Poncho and Lefty. You ever heard this song, Poncho and Lefty? I wrote that. And they looked back around, and they looked at each other and started grinning. And it turns out that uh, their squad car, you know, their partnership, right, uh -huh. these two guys, it was an Anglo and a... A uh, Hispanic guy, uh -huh. and it turns out they're called Poncho and Lefty <laughs> from the uh, Burton County Sheriff's Department, right? <laughs> and they looked around at me, <laughs> and this policeman said, "Yeah, I said I wrote Poncho and Lefty. You heard that?" And they looked at each other, grin. He looked around at me and says, "You promise?" <laughs> and I mean, I've never had a policeman ask me if I <laughs> promised or not, right? And I said, well, "You know, yeah, sure. I mean, for sure." And he says, well, at the station house, when we get called on the radio, they call for Poncho and Lefty. Said, wow. <laughs> so I got off the park, I uh, got off the speeding ticket. Well, good. Yeah. I had to pay a uh, expired inspection sticker and a, <laughs> a failure to uh, report change of address. Oh, they'll get you on something. Yeah. Well, they had to, you know. And uh, I couldn't... Uh, help it when I got out of the car, and it was the middle of the night, I got out of the police car to go back to uh, my car, which the lead guitar player was in and my wife was in, who I'm sure they figured we were headed for downtown Brenham, right? Yeah. And uh, I couldn't help it, man. I had to ask them, uh, look, you guys, which one is Poncho and which one is Lefty? <laughs> right? Uh -huh. And it turns out the uh, Anglo was Poncho. <laughs> Right. And the Hispanic was uh, lefty. And just the opposite of what you would have thought. I'm sure they were on the, uh, it was a real, I mean, it was a treat for everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, a moving, you know, speeding goes, is reported to your insurance company. Oh, yeah, I know. Right. But I, uh, I wasn't speeding very bad. <laughs> but uh, inspection sticker was not. Yeah, so it helped you out anyhow. So I think maybe that's what it maybe that's that's who it's about, those two guys.
I hope I never ever see him again. <laughs> ever.